Golang versus Python. Which programming language is best? This is the ultimate showdown of the superheroes. On one team, we have the Mighty Morphin Python Rangers. They're a powerful team of high school kids with access to karate skills, intergalactic technology, and awesome robots. They battle giant space aliens and eventually save the world. However, their Achilles heel seems to be when their robot stops working or the inability to compile code due to a single improperly placed space or tab. Yes, we're serious. The space bar is Python kryptonite. Facing off against them is our old favorite, Go Go Gadget Golang. He's a middle-aged police detective and while technically still a robot, it just doesn't hit the same. Every time he uses a gadget, he throws up an error code and something completely different pops out. He manages to save the day though and claims the win even though it was a total fluke. So, which superhero programming language rules supreme? Welcome to Kofi Group. We're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers. On a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York and Austin. Our videos cover hiring tips and strategies for startups, software engineering, data science, interview preparation, salary negotiation, remote work, recruitment tips, and much more. Subscribe now for the latest software engineering and machine learning insights, invaluable hiring tips, and the best career building advice on YouTube. Also, make sure you stick around to the end for some bonus industry info that you won't find anywhere else online. Both Python and Go are very similar in the sense that they are both very beginner-friendly and somewhat forgiving when it comes to errors. They also both have great readability, that is, their variables, classes, and methods all have a single purpose and are arranged with a consistent indentation and formatting style. When thinking about syntax, Python and Go are a case of same-same but different. The high-level functions like slices, maps, lists, and dicts look familiar and the range in Golang works the same as Python's enumerate. Python programmers can understand Go fairly easily and the structures follow similar design principles in regard to reducing clutter and preventing overly complex code. But that's where the similarities stop, really. The choices. So let's take a look at our choices and what they're used for. Python. Python is the primary programming language used by data scientists those people who work in research and development and come from a more academic-oriented background. These people often have degrees in applied mathematics, statistics, or physics, and their focus is on the discovery, understanding, and communication of data patterns. Here, Python makes sense as the programming language of choice for sharing large portions of easily readable code. It's a language that is object-oriented, imperative, functional, and procedural everything needed to quickly transcribe ideas into code and then share with others. Golang Go programming language is a little different. It's the go-to for server-side commands, building a backend and running software as it's by far the fastest out of the two and can perform at speeds similar to Java and C++. Golang is mainly used by developers and programmers to build applications. And unlike Python, Golang supports concurrency and allows its algorithms to run even if their steps are out of order. As it's a member of the C family of programming languages, it has a built-in garbage collector to deal with memory leakage. Concurrency coupled with its lightweight structure makes it brilliant for handling microservices-based server architecture. Have you used either Python or Golang in the past? Type code into the comments section below and tell us all about it. Also, keep watching to the end as we give you insight on entry-level salaries. The tail of the T. So, how do our choices measure up against each other in terms of their various advantages and drawbacks? Python. So, Python has a bit of a cult following. The Python community takes great pride in how Pythonic their code is and will often grade each other based on adhesion to syntax and readability. Pros. Making milestones. Raw, unbridled runtime performance may be nice, but ultimately the real speed metric that applies to any software project is developer productivity. Python has a varying selection of frameworks, as well as a heap of libraries to draw from, meaning it's faster to get going than Golang. Age shall not weary them. 
Python has an impressive group of frameworks that have been developed over the years. NumPy for array handling and complex matrix functions. TensorFlow for scikit-learn and deep machine learning. OpenCV for image processing. Pandas for data analysis. The list is almost never ending. Community. Python has a very active community. And as such, any problems encountered when working in Python are likely to have a solution posted by a friendly fellow programmer who came up against the same hurdle. The Singularity Machine learning and data science are fields that are making huge advancements in the way we utilize technology. No, they aren't developing rogue AI like Skynet from the Terminator movie franchise. But Python's popularity right now comes by way of its use in these types of applications. Starting up. Python is also great for startup companies. Prototypes and minimum viable products can be built really quickly and rushed into alpha and beta testing with little investment of time and resources, compared to other programming languages. Elegancy. Python syntax is fantastic and makes the program you're writing very easy to read for another Python aficionado. It comes with an enormous standard library that supports almost all common programming tasks. Flexible. Python will run on every type of operating system. Windows, Mac OS, Unix, OS2, anything really. Cons. A little too much rope. Flexibility may look like a huge plus on the outside, but there is such a thing as doing too much. The fact that you can use meta classes to self-register classes in code initialization, swap out true and false functions interchangeably, and add your own functions to the list of built-in functions can actually hurt productivity a little bit. Snail's pace. In terms of raw power, Python just doesn't have the legs that its concurrency-containing rivals do. Oftentimes, it's more than 30 times slower, which is actually not so much of a bad thing as an extra few seconds here or there doesn't make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. Lack of support. No commercial support really does hurt Python, and as such, it is used on far fewer platforms when compared to Golang. The mobile computing and mobile app development sector are booming, yet Python is a weak performer in the space and therefore doesn't really have a presence there. If you had to pick one language to code in for the rest of your life, which language would you pick? Let us know in the comments by typing life and tell us which language and why. Don't forget to stay to the very end of the video to learn how Golang and Python really compare in the real world of salaries and career growth. Golang. Pros. I am speed. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Golang is a speedy boy. Compared to Python, it finished the Mandelbrot test 48 times faster, Spectral Norm 43 times faster, and Nbody 38 times faster. Better runtime performance thanks to Golang's inbuilt concurrency. The Simple Life There is a certain simplicity that Golang offers where it doesn't let you get over creative when writing code. 99 times out of 100, you don't need advanced features to compile functional code. The KISS, or keep it simple stupid approach, works like magic when a programmer has to understand another programmer's work. Friends in high places. Golang is Google backed. Enough said. A language developed by one of the big four tech companies is bound to have resources thrown into its development and have a constant and steady stream of updates and upgrades to the frameworks and functions along the way. Bug catcher. The static typing used in Go makes it much easier to catch bugs and errors, which is never a bad thing. Modern Management The shift from traditional monolithic architecture to microservices-based servers means that Go is on the rise and is gaining in popularity. It's one of the best in terms of managing the backend, and its flexibility interfacing with other programming languages used on the user side of things means communication between the two is near seamless. Open Source The original Golang source code is freely available to be distributed wherever you want it to be and to be modified however you want it to be. True freedom. How to Golang for Dummies There are a huge number of very detailed official guides, tutorials, and how-tos covering everything you're ever likely to do in Golang. Add these on to the unofficial forum posted guides and you can't really go wrong. Juggling Many Balls Concurrency is also a great thing when you have many balls up in the air, 
in the case of CPU core multi-threading and hyper-threading. Smart resource use and allocation is key, and Golang is great at not taking up more juice than is needed. It's also incredibly memory efficient to boot. Cons Youth is wasted on the young. Golang really hasn't been around that long and doesn't have the same variety as Python does, which is understandable, as Python is the elder of the two by some 16 years. Still, Jin, Echo, and Revel are powerful frameworks that have a lot to offer. Who wants to be generic? So, simplicity is so ingrained into Golang that there are no generics used in the language. The same goes for inheritance, polymorphism, and some other macro functions. But all is not lost. It does still have slices, arrays, and maps. Library with no books. So, there's no nice way to say this. Golang still has very poor library support. So really, there is no definitive case for which programming language is better as they're suited for different purposes. It really boils down to different strokes for different folks. And the choice of Golang versus Python boils down to what you want to do. Data science and machine learning. Python is your go-to tool. Developing server-side applications, especially within a microservices architecture, then you can do no better than Golang. It comes down to having the right tool for the right job. So first point of call would be to look at the task at hand and choose the appropriately matched programming language. Congratulations, you made it to our bonus segment. Thanks for staying tuned in. As a special reward, we're going to share some salary information with you all. Let's talk salaries and future growth. This is important information for both veteran and aspiring programmers alike and where you should be focusing your attention as you grow your career. Python is a very, very handy tool to have in your arsenal. The average salary is $100,742, with a projected 10-year growth of 21.40%, placing it third in the list of programming languages expected to be in demand in a decade. At present, 20.20% of software job postings are asking for it. Golang is the new kid on the block, the up-and-comer. The rapid developments made by Google to bolster applications that can use Go means at present, the average salary is at $112,092, the highest of all the programming languages. It also has the highest projected 10-year growth at 49.80% and job posting mentions at 30.70%. We hope you enjoyed Golang vs Python, which programming language is best? If you learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments if there's any recruitment, technology, or startup specific content you want us to cover next. Have you heard of Clojure? Check out our video called Clojure and 5 Things You Need to Know About It to see other amazing recruitment, employment, and startup strategy videos. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. At Kofi Group, we're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis, with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. We help startups outcompete Fang, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and Big Tech in the highly competitive war for talent. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers in startups, contact Kofi Group today.